It's time to open up all new Playmobil blind bags from Series 11. We've got eight different packs of minifigures to assemble and collect. Oh man, I wonder what's going to be inside here. Uh, I can't wait to find out, so let's go ahead and start tearing into them. Let's see, who's going to be in our first pouch? Okay, who do we get? Let's see, here's a, a list of all the different figures we can get. And, oh, here's the parts. Alright, so these figures are really cool. You get to actually build them, kind of like Legos. But this is actually Playmobil figures. Uh, looks like, I want to say it's a pirate, but we're going to have to put it together and find out. Let's see, this goes right here. Ooh, maybe it's a, a time traveler of some sort. Hmm, whoops. Maybe I didn't put it on there right. Let's see. There's some assembly required. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Now I can move forward. That's the joint for the bottom. I think now we can put that on top. There we go. Now we got to put on the arms. Here's an arm. Got to press it in there. Kind of hard to get it to stay in. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe we put the arms in first, and then we slide it down. That's what we do. I see. Here we go. Oops. There we go, all right. So there's the chest and the legs. And here is his noggin. Oh, he's got a monocle <laughs> and a mustache. This is a very dapper gentleman. All right. Whoa, he popped his head off. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh man, maybe I should look at the instructions to find out how to put them together, huh? That's okay, I'm sure once we figure out how to put one together, we'll, we'll know how to do the rest of them. All right, all right. So, step one, we we did step one right, got it. Step two, we put the arms in. I did put the arms in, oops. Did I put them on the right side? I don't think it matters which side you put them in. All right, well, let's try doing the arms again. All right, got the arms. And now, I'm supposed to put it right down onto here. Did I get it all the way down? think so. Now, put the head on. There we go, we got it assembled now. And then we put on the hat. Or actually this is his hair. And then he has a hat that goes on top of it. So there's his hair. Can I get to stay? It's a little tricky to put together. There we go. All right, now he can wear his hat. So he looks like he's a, like a time-traveling steampunk kind of guy. That's pretty cool. He's got this little, uh, let's see what kind of accessories he has. He has goggles that you can put on top of his hat or on top of his head, either way. And I mean, he's got all these little accoutrements. He has a little rod. All right, he's got a little bandolier and a little flintlock pistol. Oh man, so many fun accessories. All right, he's really cool, but I can't wait to see what other kind of toys we got. So we're gonna put him aside and we're gonna open up another bag. All right, clear out all of our junk. We'll be nice and tidy. Okay, let's open up one of these pink bags next. I wonder who's in the pink bag. So they recommend using scissors, but it looks like you can just kind of get into them like this. So. Who's in the pink bag? Okay, looks like it's a girl. Oh, I think it's a witch. She's got a black dress and a black hat. This is great, just in time for Halloween. All right, so. Put that together first. And then we put her arms in the torso. There's one arm. There's two arms. And now this down on top of the dress okay looking good and here's her face snaps in just like that we're having a much easier time putting this one together aren't we <laughs> all right and there's her hair she has this pretty red hair she has a little bow and ooh, it looks like she has a, a little collar that we can put on top of her shoulders here might should put that on before we put the head in definitely should put that on before the head in can we take the head back out? Oh, it's kind of tricky. 
if only we could pop it off like we popped off that last one. There we go. All right. So we'll do this. Uh, and well, actually, does it go this way? I think it goes this way. Yeah, that way we can see her necklace. Now we can pop the head back in. Aha! Now we see her shoulder pads. And of course, she has a witch hat. A bow on top of the hat. Oh, that's really cute. And she has a magic wand. All right, can we get her to hold the wand? Let's see. There we go. All right. That's a really cool looking one. I like this little witch figurine. That's neat. Okay, let's open up another blue one now. Let's see what's in here. Oh man, maybe we do need scissors for this side. Uh, there we go. We got it. Okay, who's gonna be in here? There's another little fold out showing us how to build it and what different toys we can get. Ooh, this looks like a construction worker, like a builder guy, I think. Or maybe, well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. He's got gray pants. And he's got a yellow top, which usually a lot of times people that work in construction might wear yellow because it's real easy to see them. And that way nobody has any accidents. All right, so we got the arms in here. We're gonna slide it down on top of him. Just like so. There we go. Do so you hear that little click? That means I'm doing it right. Now we put his noggin on top. And we put his hair on top of his noggin. There we go. We put on his hat. Yeah, I think he's uh, either a construction worker or a carpenter of some sort, it looks like. Looks like he's got a fun tool belt, which uh, I think we'd have to take him back apart in order to put that on. But he also comes with, oh yeah, he's definitely like a repair man. Um, he's got wrenches and saws and hammers. He's got all kinds of tools, a little drill. Yeah, so he's a great guy to, to go to when you need something built or uh, maybe you need a story added onto your house. <laughs> he's really fun. All right, we'll put him aside for now. I think it's time to open up another one of these pink ones. All right, what are we gonna see in here? Ooh, I like the colors on this. Is it a snowboarder? Oh man, I think it is. I think she's got a snowboard. All right, we'll start with her, her legs. She's got these white legs and uh, purple shoes. All right, yep, and she's got a snowboarding vest for sure. This is so that she stays uh, nice and warm in the cold weather while she's out there shredding that snow. Looks like there is actually a right way you're supposed to put this on. You know, mixed up some of the other characters' arms. I mean, that's why I was having a hard time putting them together. All right, so we got that. Now we just clip this in. All right, clip. And let's see. Here's her face. Oh man, she looks really happy. <laughs> all right. She's got blonde hair. The other characters all had brown hair so far. All right. Now we gotta put, oh, I think that she had a scarf we were supposed to put on. Let's see, let's go ahead and put on that scarf. Put that down here. That'll keep her neck from getting cold. Or is that a hood? I can't tell, I guess it could be whatever you want it to be. Maybe it's a hood. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So she has a hood on the back. And here's her skiing helmet with her cool Goggles. Oh man, that's really neat. They don't really clip super well. Maybe they're supposed to go down over her head. Maybe that's why. So, yeah, there we go. Now she actually has her goggles on. They can protect her eyes from the snow. And she even has these little mittens. That's super cute. Let's see if we can get the other mitten on here. All right. That's a really cool Oh, and of course her snowboard. Here we go. Now, is there a way to make her stay on the snowboard? I don't know. It's got this little tab on the center of it. Makes me think that you can. But maybe she's just supposed to balance on it. Oh, no, you, you actually, uh, there we go. We got her stay on it. Cool, bro. She's ready to shred some powder. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. All right, I think it's time for another blue one, huh? So it looks like the bags are actually color-coded. 
So the blue Playmobil figures are, are mostly boys, and uh, the pink ones are girls. All right, let's see who we got here. Ooh, this is interesting. It looks like, I don't know, a ghost businessman? I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's a vampire. Oh man, another great Halloween costume. I'm not sure yet though, we'll have to see. All right, so here's the legs, and here's the little joint that attaches to the legs, okay? And now, let's see. Is there anything that I should put on before I put these next parts on? I don't think so. I think we can go ahead and, and do this. He's definitely some kind of spooky character. Because he's got this uh, this black and white outfit. He's got really pale skin. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to put on something else first. Oh, no. Let's see if I can pop them off. There we go. Come on off, little arm. There we go. So here we put this on over top, and it's gonna be like a cape. He's got like a, a jacket that goes over his, his shirt. So here we go. Put those arms back on. And now we can, can we do that. He kind of looks like the Joker, as he's wearing purple and he's got white skin. But okay, let's see. What is this? I'm not sure what that is. Looks like he's got a little platform he can stand on. How interesting. Okay, well, I think he's ready for his head, in any case. Okay. There's the head. And then we're gonna give him this white hair. Man, this is a crazy looking character, isn't it? Oh, man. And then I guess we put on this, this hat. Yeah, he's definitely ready for a Halloween party. There's his hat. He's got a little, a little crystal skull, I guess, that he likes to hold. He can do monologues while holding his skull. And... Oh, I see! He's a skeleton waiter! Oh, man, this is fascinating. Okay, so we have this little dinner plate with a skull on it. And we get to cover it up. And he's gonna surprise the guests with it. <laughs> okay, can we close this all the way? Let's see if we can snap it closed. Yeah, there we go. So now he's got the skull in there. Nobody's gonna expect it when he comes in with a skull on the dinner plate. <laughs> It's a pretty good prank. All right. There we go, and he's got this little platform to stand on. That's an interesting one. I'm, that's one of the more unique ones that we've opened up. I'm impressed with that. Okay, let's see who's in the pink bag. All right. Which character is this gonna be? Ooh. She looks fancy. It might be uh, someone who rides a horse, possibly? A jockey? I don't know. Let's see, we'll take this off. And. Because she's got these white pants with these boots. All right, and there's her joint. She's got uh, a black top with little gold buttons on it. She has a cape that goes down. Perhaps she's a. a butler, maybe? Sure. I'm really impressed at how varied these different figures are. They have all kinds of, like, every character you can imagine. And even some you can't. Like, I never would have thought of the, uh, the waiter. The ghost waiter. Alright, so here's her head. And, ooh, she has pretty long, uh, blonde hair. That's great. Okay. And this... Yeah, it looks like a trophy to me. I think it's a trophy that she won for racing horses. I think that she's a jockey. And here is her hat. All right, look at that. That's a really fancy looking figure, isn't it? <laughs> How fascinating. Looks like she uh, has these little tiny white bows. I'm not sure where they go. Maybe they go on her wrists. Do they fit on her wrist? Not quite. I'll have to look into that and see where those go. All right, only two bags left. Let's open up our last blue bag. Okie dokie. Ooh, this is a really colorful character. It's got lots of yellow on him. Oh man, does he have horns? Oh wow, this is gonna be a, a very kooky character. I can already tell. 
Let's see, okay. Start with this. Oh, I think this might be Buckskin that he's wearing. I think this might actually be a Native American figure. That's cool. I like seeing different kinds of people in here. All right, so attach his arms. Is there anything I need to put on before I do that? Uh, yeah, I think we put this on. He's got kind of a little loincloth thing here. Doki. And... Oops, I guess it fell down around his ankles. Maybe we put that on after. Let's see if we can snap. There we go. Okay. Uh, looks like he's got a bunch of different kinds of hairs here. That's interesting. So, we got choices. Oh, and here's his head. He's got a really cool head. He has this really nifty face paint on. I like that a lot. It's got kind of red streaks and, and black lines underneath. That's pretty cool. Let me just clip this around his back. Yeah, he's got a shawl. It looks like a, maybe a buffalo pelt. Let's see. What kind of hair should I put on him? Put this hair on. And then I can put on his buffalo helmet on top of that. <laughs> That's really neat. And then he's got all these different little things. So he's got this little waistband. I'm not sure how we get that onto him. But he has a little black skinning knife. He has a, a cane that looks like it has a vulture head on it. He's got this fun little uh, gold tassels. That's a pretty fun figure. I like him. All right. Well, it looks like we're down to our last bag. It's time to open up the last bag, which is a pink one. Let's see what is inside here. Man, it's been a lot of fun opening all these figures, seeing all the different characters they have. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that one was really excited to get out. It exploded. All right, let's see if we can find all the pieces. Okay, I think we finally found all of our pieces here. That was pretty crazy. All right, so it looks like it's a dress, a pink dress. Uh, that makes me think princess from the get-go. I wonder if that's what this is, if it's a princess figure. So we'll start by attaching that. There we go. And then we will get her arms. Yes, I think it definitely is a princess. She's wearing white gloves and she's got a pink dress. Oh, Doki. All right, and here is her head. Let's see if there's anything we need to put on her neck first. Oh, it looks like she has a scarf. Yeah, so we'll put a scarf right here. Might not be a princess at all. It might just be a, a lady uh, out for a walk in the wintertime. Oh, and she has pretty blonde hair that's nice and braided. That's cute. And, of course, stay, uh, stay warm. She has a pink toboggan. <laughs> and, oh, you know what? She is a princess. You know how I know? Because she has a crown. All right, let's put her little crown on. Oh, that's cute. She's a little winter princess. Oh, that reminds me of somebody. All right. Well, let's take a look at all of our Playmobil figures together. All right, so we have our snow princess. We have our ghost waiter. We have our uh, trophy winning jockey. We have our buffalo Native American. We have our uh, witch. Ooh. Got a lot of figures here. Uh, we have our construction man, our repair guy, uh, our snowboarder, and of course, our time traveling steampunk dude. All right, here's all of our Playmobil minifigures. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and be a good friend to anyone around you. If you really like this video, try checking out some of these other ones. They're a lot of fun too.